in this video I'm gonna show you how to put seeds, how to sort seeds and uh, grow plants in fiber pots. This biodegradable cardboard type of egg tray type of uh, little pots. So let's see how it goes. I'm using a fairly high quality seed sowing compost, perfect for bringing seeds to life. I transfer them into a bucket and put it up on the table. It's, it's a very, very fine compost as all you can see. So I don't need to do anything with this. So I made up a few pots already here in the train. I fill them up, not full, just about full. Okay, so this is around the right level. And just before I go forward, I'm going to show you some sweet peas. Okay, so these sweet peas, I came from those pots. I saw them a couple of weeks ago. And then I transported five pots into a big pot. So I put this pot half. I laid and stand one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine pots actually on the top of the soil, water them, then filled it up with more soil, and now this is how they look like. So these little pots are transferred into this one. I didn't dig out these pots. And why I don't do that? Because all the roots will come out on the sides. And you can put them easily inside the soil without transplanting them or digging them out from here. Once you fill up the little pots, you water the soil very well. That's a little trick what I do. I just use a plastic bottle and I put some holes on the top so it doesn't hurt the plants. Really easy to harvest. And the other one just a sprayer but is very easy to use as well. I have some lovely sweet pepper Corno di Toro Rosso seeds. This is what you can buy in the shop. They are quite long, dark red, very sweet and full of flavor. I'm gonna place one each. Tops, one there, one there, one here, one here. Why I don't put two? Because I, I take the risk they will be fine. If not, I can put any time. So now I'm going to use the sprayer. Okay, soak them in water very well. Keep them in the middle. And now put a little bit of soil on top just to cover. They don't have to be too deep like this, nothing special, I don't push them down or anything, just water them like this, soak it very well with water. The secret for these fiber pots, put water, even you can put twice a day if it's in a hot environment, and just soak always very well. Of course you label them up very well, so I made only just one, two, three, four of them. Sweet red long pepper times four, Corno di Toro Rosso, 11th of March. And I made some beetroot Detroit number two times eight, as you can see. And now they are ready to transfer into the heated uh, kitchen area where we'll be between 15 and 21 degrees. And they should pop out, hopefully one or two weeks time that so there is a big radiator underneath this concrete table it keeps the place quite warm let's have a look it's 1920 degrees in celsius so some of them here and quite a lot here as well 
Azalea flowers, I mean Godesia flowers are coming out very well. What is it? Teddy bear sunflowers, red giant sunflower, and I just put the sweet pepper here, courgette, spinach, garlic, French beans, etc. etc. Let's see what's gonna happen. As you can see, I planted lots of sweet pea in the plants and also F1 very very good quality geranium they look amazing beautiful they will have true leaves very very soon and I'm really excited about them so where did I put I put pumpkins in those as well what else courgettes and here is the sweet pepper we passed only one day so in a week or two weeks time I should show you lovely buds not buds I mean young little plants I found it also extremely important in this closed heated area to put some sticky fly papers because they really love the new plants so I put quite a few sticky paper everywhere and maybe I'm gonna put a little bit more I ordered around 100 pieces it's very cheap eBay Amazon or uh, most of the gardening shop have them so in the greenhouse in the heated seedling area it's really really useful